Delicious it is, Pali. So start your day with a burst of energy by blending together the perfect combination of rich coffee flavor and the natural sweetness of bananas. This smoothie is not only a delicious treat, but a refreshing way to kickstart your morning. Exactly. I see you nodding. You guys agree? I am, because how many of us actually start our day with coffee, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of us. So yep. this is a nice way to, in essence, take your coffee and add it into something that you know is not only just delicious, but it also will be filling for most of the day. Yes, exactly. We trying to keep the energy levels at a certain level the entire day. So Janine, I'm going to be making a co coffee and banana smoothie and I don't know if you've ever had that combination Not before. yet. No. Not yet. No, no, no. <laughs> Very it excited. It sounds delicious and it looks really delicious. I know, yes. right? Well, um, Zareda, may I please ask you to pass me our clover double cream yogurt because yes. that is yes. the star of our show. This is do. the magic. This is I, the magic. I love double cream. I love that it keeps you filling and I love that it's high in protein. Like that is my go-to when it comes to yogurt. And that's part of the reason why we've included it into our recipe today because we want to get all those proteins we want to get as much nutrition as possible while also pairing it with the coffee flavor I don't know if you do drink coffee in the mornings as well I do I've tried for the high vibrational coffee out there <laughs> <laughs> but yes yes yeah no so I I've do. one nowadays I've recently started uh, including a lot more smoothies into my life because of the fact that they're so easy to yes. prepare and also you can make ahead and the fact that you can put so much nutrient dense ingredients in there yeah yeah all right so yeah. ours starts with with our double cream, uh, clover double cream yogurt over here. Thank you so much, I'll Dean. I'll take that. And, and then, then Timmy, you had a little secret with coffee, didn't you? I did, yes. I did. I'm glad you reminded me of that because another trick is that we've got to be using some cold coffee. Obviously, yes. we brewed our coffee ahead of time and we let it chill. If perhaps you've got more time on your hands, why not just add these, this already made coffee into your ice tray and that, that also helps not only with keeping it nice and cool, but it also helps to do keeping I it nice that and firm idea. throughout. I'm going to so, be doing that this week. <laughs> I like to do when I make my smoothies is I like to layer them up and make sure that the liquid is as close to the blades as possible because it just helps emulsify everything together. Okay. So yeah. that's why I've stopped with the coffee just for now. We're going in with our frozen bananas. This is also another trick with making sure that it gives your smoothie some body but also keeps it nice and chilled. Yeah. People like smoothies to be chilled and not to be stodgy and, and gooey. Yeah. Uh, you just want it to be nice and chilled and a great you know burst of energy for the morning. And for sweetness, which is optional, you can use some honey. Some people like to use maple syrup, but something I've also found recently that works very well in sweetening any of my smoothies or dishes is dates. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Keeps your energy and levels up as well. Yes. And then just to finish this baby off, I'm going to add some of our coffee. And also remember, depending on how thick or thin you want your smoothie to be, depending on how filling you want it to be, add more bananas if you mm. want to, add less uh, oats if you want to. It really is about um, adding the, the measurements according to your liking. Yes. So now that our baby is done, we're going to add some granola at the very top and some chocolate just to make sure that it looks and also tastes delicious. And I'm just going to blitz this up. What secret? ingredient would you add Zia? I feel like the way you're looking at so me. So you know, you know, I'm looking at you and I'm actually admiring how mindful you are as you talk about making your smoothie and as you put your ingredients in and because this show and topic is around mindfulness I think that's so important mm. that we bring that into the kitchen too and I see you doing that so to walk the talk. It's not one for thing sure. to just yeah, be yeah, going yeah. on for about sure. this works and it's good for you for this and that. It's important for me to also ensure that I incorporate this yeah. into my daily lifestyle. I can't just yeah. do it for the viewers on TV. This yes. is literally my life. So as we see, our smoothie is nice and ready. I've got some yes. tasters for you ladies there over you there. you go, one for you. Like I always say that it's not just about how it looks, it's about how it tastes. Yes, so ladies, for sure. Thank you. Let's and Jimmy, you know what I love about this range Cheers. as well? Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank is you. that um, I've noticed that you've got the little six pack on the counter there. I love that for a variety of reasons, for snacks, but also as a really cool addition to um, to school lunch. Yes, I love that you said that. It is great to know that I can yeah. trust Clover to help me yes. make sure that my son's lunch is top notch. I love that. So Janine, out of 10, how much do you give the smoothie? Can I give it an 11? <laughs> <laughs> it's really good, it's really good. The flavor is the combination and I'm getting everything that I need in one right. shot. I agree too, me. this is absolutely delicious and I'd love you to taste it. So to get your hands on this energy boosting coffee and banana smoothie, all you have to do is visit www.afternoonexpress.co.za and we will see you in a bit. Mm. Double cream plain yogurt from Clover. Just plain amazing.